742 on your Tuesday. Let's take a look at what's trending online this morning, and it's an interesting one. Alaska Airlines has banned an Alaska state senator for refusing to follow mask requirements. Now, Reinbold is a Republican of Eagle River. She's been a vocal opponent of the COVID-19 mitigation measures and also has repeatedly objected the Alaska Airlines mask policy, which was enacted even before the federal government's mandate this year. Last year, she referred to Alaska Airlines staff as mask bullies after a confrontation with flight attendants. Now, after the incident, she reportedly sent an apology cake to the flight attendants saying, I'm sorry if I offended you written on the cake. Uh, All right, last week, Reinbold was actually recorded in this video. Take a look at your screen in Juneau International Airport arguing with staff about those mask policies. This video on Twitter appears to show airline staff telling her to mask up, cover her nose and mouth. Then comes the suspension. So an airline spokesperson said the senator had been informed about the suspension and it was effective immediately. But on the other hand, Reinbold said she has not been notified of the ban and she actually hopes to be on another Alaska airline flight in the future. OK, so people online, of course, are having a field day with this story. They're wondering how she's going to get to the state capitol for work. Good question. Take a look at that map. That does not look easy. We're going to have Jeremy's take on this in just a little bit. He's obviously lived in Alaska and knows a lot about this. So this person tweeted a map of Alaska showing the route from her area of the state capitol. It's about a 20 hour drive. Ugh. Some are saying Alaska Airlines is the only airline that actually even flies that route. And the senator posted on Facebook that she does plan to take the ferry. She said nothing could get in the way of me getting to the Capitol to fight for our rights. All right, right now lawmakers can participate in the committee meetings by teleconference, but cannot vote on the House or Senate floor remotely. All right, Jeremy, I'm letting you take the floor on this oh, one. Man. Oh, man. OK, so let's say she does go into Canada, drives all the way around 20 hours, 19 hours, 57 minutes. Uh, <laughs> you can't even get there without getting on a ferry. You can't get on a ferry in Alaska without wearing a mask. What is she doing? Those are just the rules. And this is uh, remember back to last week when I said our politicians think they're celebrities and think they have more power than they do. You're a public servant. You are. Senator Reinbold, you're a public servant. Be a public servant. The reason they have so many mask rules in Alaska is because they have such a large rural community that has no access to health care. They're trying to help them, and she yeah. clearly doesn't care about her own constituents. Yeah, well, a lot of people on social media think it the same way. All right.